Hello all, my name is Danny Morales and I'm a student research assistant with high performance research computing at Texas A&M University. I am a senior in electrical engineering at Texas A&M and have been working with HPRC for about eight months. I'm here with Van Howell, Associate Dean of Information Services at South Plains College. Van has been working closely with the CC Star Bricks community led by Texas A&M University. Very nice to have you, Van. To start off, could you tell us a bit about who you are and what you've been working on with CC Star? Well, like you mentioned before, my name is Van Howell, and um, I'm the Associate Dean for Information Services at South Plains College. I've been at South Plains College for about five years, and um, uh, about two years ago, um, South Plains College uh, participated in a National Science Foundation CC Star grant uh, that was uh, uh, awarded to South Plains College through uh, LEARN, uh, Lone Star Education Research. Uh, since then, uh, basically through the affiliation with LEARN, I also became affiliated with uh, BRICS uh, through A&M, which is a, uh, another uh, CC Star uh, grant funded program. And um, this is it, I work with CC Star. What would you say your biggest challenges are being a community college when compared to four-year institutions? Well, before I was at South Plains College, I uh, was the director for IT operations at uh, Lubbock Christian University, which is a four-year institution. And uh, the, there are some, some significant differences between the two, but most of it really doesn't have anything to do with a four-year or a two-year institution. It really has to do more with the uh, uh, sources of funding. Um, Lubbock Christian University is a private school. Uh, they are funded almost exclusively through tuition. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a very small endowment. And uh, so if enrollment is down, funds are down, and you don't get anything done. Uh, the one thing that I did notice about uh, uh, South Plains being a two-year school is um, we work quite a bit in the IT department. We work quite a bit with student workers. Mm -hmm. At a four-year school, we will hire a student worker as a freshman and we have them for four years. So they progress through our program, our help desk program, starting off answering phones and resetting passwords. And then by their uh, fourth year, uh, they're what they call a lead where they're, they're doing more complex stuff. How pertinent would you say research is at South Plains College? Research is very limited at South Plains College. Uh, the faculty are mostly um, just, um, I don't want to put this in a bad light, but they pretty much are just teachers. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the faculty do have PhDs and have worked in research institutions, but they didn't necessarily take the job at South Plains College to do research. They took the job at South Plains College because they wanted to interact with students. One of the things uh, that we have been doing since our affiliation with LEARN uh, and the CC Star Grant there, the CC Star Grant at LEARN was specifically designed to foster research. And uh, so we've been trying to promote research a little bit more um, and working with BRICS. Um, uh, I've been able to uh, uh, get some more information to faculty about research. Uh, one of the things that is, has come to the forefront in recent years is that uh, undergraduate research for students is very important. Uh, getting into graduate programs, uh, they want to see that you participated in undergraduate research. Hmm. But getting that started at the community college level, I think, is a plus especially for our STEM programs. All right, so thank you. Next question is, how has NSF CC Star and LEARN helped SPC grow? Well, it's uh, the uh, CC Star program with LEARN um, uh, has basically given us, uh, um, well, um, let me see if I can put this differently. It, it, it's kind of put us on the map as mm -hmm. far as research goes. Um, um, there, the, 
the, the faculty, the deans especially, are, are starting to think along the lines of research. They recognize now that we have uh, facilities and um, the capability to interact with other schools uh, through LEARN and to uh, do research. Um, we've got, um, um, I mean, the CC Star Grant has paid um, for two years of our internet service through LEARN. So mm -hmm. we've been able to increase our bandwidth, uh, increase our connectivity, excuse me, and uh, uh, just move things along in that direction. Um, also, uh, uh, I'm on the board at LEARN. Uh, South Lines College decided to go ahead and uh, pay the fees to get a board member for LEARN. And so I've been working fairly closely with, with Amy, uh, Amy Schultz and uh, Akbar Kara. And my goal is to get South Plains College as a, uh, I, uh, get, get a learn pop at South Plains College. Um, the Western counties in the Panhandle of Texas are very underutilized, underserved as far as uh, internet access. The districts have very slow internet. Yeah. And uh, so one of my uh, goals in working with Learn is to, is to do some build out of fiber to those Western counties. CEO at Learn to, uh, uh, on a project to build us towards Morton, Texas, which is uh, on, uh, on the path to Morton, we go through Whiteface and uh, South Plains College Taxing District is Hockley County and Whiteface Independent School District. So that would bring Whiteface Independent School District onto our network, which would be a tremendous uh, boost for South Plains College. So what attracts you to research computing? Um, I've always been interested in working with computing. My PhD is in applied computer science. Um, and uh, the focus uh, is, is the application of the computer science. So that in general is research computing. Years ago, whenever I was at Texas Tech um, uh, in the physics program there, uh, we built Beowulf clusters. And so we did some some early uh, cluster type computing um, at Texas Tech. It's uh, moved back to the forefront. Okay, thank you. The next question is, what differences have you seen in terms of network performance since getting on the LEARN network? There has been a significant increase in our network performance. Um, Part of it is LEARN. Uh, LEARN was really the catalyst that got everything started. Uh, last year, we also um, released a, a RFP in order to upgrade our campus backbone. South Plains mm -hmm. College has four campuses. Um, there's two campuses in the Lubbock County, uh, one in Loveland and one in Plainview. And uh, before we got affiliated with LEARN, we were connect, four campuses were connected together with a one gigabit connection, mm -hmm. uh, which was very limiting. Over that one gig, we ran our telephones, our email, uh, everything. Um, um, when we moved to LEARN, we were getting a one gig connection to the internet that was burstable up to 10 gig. And so I decided to go ahead and look to see what it was cost to uh, uh, increase our campus backbone to 10 gig as well. And uh, uh, ended up landing on one that actually cut our cost in half and increased our bandwidth between campuses to 10 gig. Uh, we also changed how our campus backbone was structured. Under our previous uh, roadmap, uh, we were basically a level three uh, route. We had level three routing where each campus or each connection between campuses was assigned to VLAN by our, our internet service provider on the network. And I wanted to have a level two network configuration to where South Plains was responsible for their own routing, our own IP subnetting and everything like that. And so that has really changed a lot. It's, it's helped a great deal as far as our ability goes. The process of working in the, on the plans to change how our two data centers are configured Mm -hmm. uh, we have a data center at our Reese campus and a data center at our Leveline campus. 
and uh, Reese and Leveland, they act in a failover type situation. Under their current configuration, they're both in two different uh, IP subnets. And so if we have to fail our system over from Leveland to Reese, uh, what I'm working on is, is to find and utilize the virtual extensible uh, local area networks, uh, VXLANs, and that will basically extend our data center across multiple locations. And uh, that'll allow us to have the same IP subnetting on at both of our data centers. So we could migrate our servers anywhere without having to make any, any uh, changes in our configurations. Thank you. The last question, Van, is what do you think the future looks like for SBC? I think it looks promising. Um, you know, this last year at the, end, at the end of 2020, I was working with the BRICS team uh, to write an NSF CC star grant uh, to put in a high performance computing cluster at South Plains College. And as it turned out, um, with the uh, money that came in from the CARES Act, uh, we're going to be funding it through that rather than mm -hmm. a CC star grant. Um, and the uh, uh, faculty, especially our, uh, our science faculty, in the, uh, chemistry, biology, and physics departments. I've been very excited about the possibility of utilizing um, a high performance computing cluster uh, in, their, uh, in their academic classes. A lot of the four-year schools uh, will give access uh, to the com community colleges on their clusters. Ours in, rather than utilizing the TAC or, or Texas Tech, uh, was that we had more control over what it is we could do. Uh, we couldn't have multiple uh, multiple cores running in our own cluster. We're able to, to pick and choose what we do. Um, you know, community college, one of the things that we do that four-year schools don't do is vocational technical training. So one of our, our leading vocational technical programs is our uh, uh, graphic arts com uh, commercial art program. So by having our own cluster, we'd be able to run software like RenderMan or Blender on that cluster, which would give them the ability to do 3D uh, animation. Thank you. So, uh, Ben, I want to thank you so much for your time, uh, for, for being here, for being a part of this. Um, I really look forward to seeing what SPC does in the future and talking to you soon. So thank you very much. Take care.